Welcome to another video in the SCEPS for HANA Fixed Assets playlist. In one of the previous videos in the playlist, I explained how we can use unplanned depreciation to post an additional unplanned depreciation expense to an asset if an accident happened or for any other reason. Now, what if we want to do the opposite? So we want to reduce the depreciation of an asset. And this case actually we use a lot because in many cases we maintain wrong useful life in the asset. So for example, we did a fixed asset acquisition today and in the asset master data, we maintained that this asset should be depreciated over four years. But then at period end or at year end, we had an audit and the auditor told us that this asset should actually be depreciated over eight years, not four. So now, for example, if the asset has a depreciation base of 4,000 and we maintained it with a useful life of four years, it means it will depreciate 1,000 every year, 4,000 over four. But then after one year, when the, audit, uh, the auditor came, he told us it should be depreciated over eight years. So the depreciation per year should be only 500. So 4,000 over eight years is 500 per year, which means that we over depreciated the asset. And now we want to correct this issue. So we want to lower the depreciation of the asset and the accumulated depreciation. How can we do this? This is called fixed asset depreciation write up. Now, the way we will treat this issue depends on whether we discover the issue in the same fiscal year of the acquisition or in future years. So for example, if we post a fixed asset acquisition in 2023, and then after two or three periods in the same year, we found out this issue, we can easily correct the fixed asset master data and maintain eight years uh, in the place of four. So we'll correct the useful life in the asset master data. And then SCAP in the same fiscal year will adjust the depreciation postings to correct the annual depreciation. Or we can discover this issue in future years. So we did a fixed asset acquisition in 2020. And then in 2021 or in 2022, we discovered that the depreciation that we posted for this asset until now was actually was over was was over depreciated. So the asset should have less depreciation than what we did. And in order to fix this case, this one is a little more complicated because the, the previous years are already closed. We cannot correct the depreciation that was posted. So we'll actually take all the difference in depreciation and post it in the current fiscal year there is no other solution. So the financial entries will be different in this case than when we discover the problem in the same year of the acquisition and also the process on SCEP is for HANA. So today in the video, I will show you the financial entries and I will explain them. So the financial entries that, uh, that will be generated in both of these cases. So when we try to correct the depreciation value in the same fiscal year of acquisition or we try to correct the depreciation value in future years, and also I will show you how to perform both of these in SAP S4 HANA. Again, this process is called fixed asset depreciation write-up, which is different from the fixed asset acquisition value write-up that I explained in the last video. So I will, I will show you this today on SAP S4 HANA 2021. As usual, here I have the two screens. On the one on the right, I will open the fixed asset explorer or the asset values. And on the one on the left, I will perform the different transactions so we can see the impact of anything we do immediately on our fixed asset. In the demo today, I will perform two business cases. The first one is an asset that we post an acquisition to in this year. And then we will try to adjust the depreciation values in this year. And the other business case is an asset that we acquisitioned in the last year in 2022. And then in 2023, we realized that we over depreciated the asset and we want to adjust our depreciation values. So we want uh, to do a depreciation write up. And this is the second business case. I already have my fixed assets created. I'm going to use the same fixed assets that I created in the last demo when we did the fixed asset acquisition write up. I will use exactly the same two assets. So first I will start with the first one that we have in our AG20 company code. So I will open here the asset explorer AS02. And the asset number is this one, and the company code is AG20. So this is the asset we used in the last demo. Now let's go to asset values. And here we have in 2023, we have an acquisition value of 40,000, and then we did an additional acquisition of 4,000. And if we go to posted values, the planned depreciation is 916. And if we go to comparison, 
you can see we have a planned depreciation of 11,000 per year for four years, which is the useful life of the asset. Now, we already posted depreciation to this asset. So we already posted depreciation in period two. And we realized now that the, actually the useful life of the asset should not be four years, but it should be eight years. So whatever we posted is not correct. And now we want to adjust the future planned depreciation to be less than this because now it's depreciated over four years, not eight. So to do this, I will go to the fixed asset master data in AS02, go to depreciation areas, and here maintain eight years instead of four. So this is very easy because this asset we did, we acquisitioned, so we posted the asset acquisition in this year, and we are trying to correct it in this year. So this is very easy as you see. All of what I did is I went to the fixed asset master data, AS02, and then I changed the useful life to the correct value, then save. Now, if you go back to asset values, go to posted values. Now you see the planned depreciation instead of 800 something is only 400. So SAP divided it by two because we are depreciating the asset over eight years instead of four. And if you go to comparison, you can see that SAP is going to depreciate 5,500 for eight years. So we are starting in 2023 and it will be over by 2020, by 2030, and we have 5,500 per year, which is completely correct. Now, if you check the posted values here, you will see that SCEP will adjust all the long depreciation value in period two when we run the depreciation again, and then from period three, everything will be okay. If we don't run the depreciation again for period two, everything will be posted when we run depreciation for period three. So anyway, SCEP will manage to adjust the annual depreciation to the correct value because annual numbers are very important in fixed assets. So now the annual numbers will be correct. We have no issues. We are compliant with the financial standards. We have no audit issues and everything is fine. So this is how we solve the issue if the asset was acquisitioned in the same year when we discovered the issue. Now let's move to the second more complicated case. We have an asset that we acquisitioned in the last year and only this year we realized that the useful life was wrong. Now this asset I already created in the last demo, so let's switch here to the other asset. So I will go back, go again to AS02. Now the other asset is this one. And the company code is 1710. So this asset is the one we created for the previous year acquisition. And if you go to depreciation areas, it is being depreciated over four years. Now if we go to asset values, If we go to 2022, we have an asset acquisition that was posted for 40,000. And if you go to posted values, we have some depreciation already posted in the last year of 10,000 because the asset is depreciated over four years. So this value is already posted. We cannot touch it. We cannot change it. It's done because the fiscal year is closed. Now, if I go here, first let's go to comparison. And as you see here, we have a planned depreciation of 11,000 because the total acquisition value is 40,000 and then we added an additional 4,000 in 2023. So the acquisition value is 44,000 over four years, which is 11,000 per year. So as you see, we have 10,000, then 11, 11, 11, and the asset will be fully depreciated by 2025 when we post the last depreciation value of 11,000. Now we realized that the asset should actually be depreciated over eight years, not four. How can we fix this? So I will go back here to AS02. So this asset was acquisitioned and capitalized in 2022, as you see, in the last year. Now, if I try to do exactly what I did for the previous asset, so if I go here to depreciation areas, and I change the useful life to the correct value, which is eight, enter, and then save, now, if we refresh here and go to posted values or comparison. So as you see, SAP is going to depreciate 5,500 over how many years? So the asset was acquisitioned in 2022. So 2023, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. So now SAP depreciated the asset fully by 2028. The asset was acquisitioned in 2022 and we have eight years, so it should be fully depreciated by 2029. But as you see, the asset is fully depreciated by 2028. This is wrong. 
which means the asset will be completely depreciated before the useful life. Why this happened is before, because we did not adjust the value of depreciation that was posted in 2022. We cannot touch it. It has already been posted. So what we can do is we are going to post fixed asset depreciation right up in 2023 to lower the accumulated depreciation value and to fix, to adjust this value, but in 2023, since we cannot touch 2022. To do this, there is a transaction SEP that's made for this specific business case. You can find it here in accounting, financial accounting, fixed assets, posting, and then here we have manual value correction, write up. So this one is used for the depreciation write up. Now right, double click here. So we have the company code and this is our asset and the transaction type by default is 700. Okay. Here I will leave the ledger and accounting principle and depreciation area empty. I want to post all of them. Document date is 011-2023, the current year. Posting date is also 2023. We cannot post to 2022. And the asset value date is also 0101-2023. So this, in this case, we want to adjust the depreciation as of today. We have to insert here the current fiscal year. If you insert 2022, SAP will give you an error. So here it will be 011-2023 and the ordinary depreciation previous year. So this is the value we want to write up. This is the value we want to adjust in our accumulated depreciation. Now, as you see in 2022, we posted 10,000 of ordinary depreciation. And according to the new useful life, this value should actually be 5,500, similar to all the other years. So we want to adjust the value, the difference. The difference between 10,000 and 5,500 is 4,500. So the ordinary depreciation value that we want to adjust is 4,500 and save. If you try to process this transaction for a fixed asset that was acquisitioned in the current year, SAP will give an error. This transaction is made specifically for assets that were acquisitioned in previous years and we want to adjust today. So now the transaction is posted. If I go here and refresh, you can see we have write up ordinary and special depreciation of 4,500 in 011, 2023. And if we go to comparison, we can see here the asset will be fully depreciated in 2029. So we acquisition the asset in 2022, depreciation over eight years. So it will be over by the end of 2029. So this is the correct case. In the last year, we have the value of 4,500 because it should be 5,500, but we have 1,000 value adjustment that we posted in the last demo. So don't ignore this part. It will, be, uh, it will make things complicated. But anyway, now you understand that we can post any value as ordinary depreciation adjustment, and this value will be corrected from the first year or from the previous years that, already, uh, that are already closed. Now, if we want to see the financial entity that was posted, let's go back to planned values, double click on write up ordinary and special depreciation. And now as you see, so we have a debit to the accumulated depreciation and we have a credit to gain from write up. This is an account that we maintain in configuration and uh, this account, we can use it any way we want after this. So the financial entry will reduce our accumulated depreciation with the value that we inserted here. Again, so this account, this one, the one on the credit is maintained in the configuration. You can maintain any account you want, but it will be a profit and loss account and it will be used to reverse the depreciation expense posted in the last periods uh, or in the last years. I hope this was easy to understand. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me your comments. You can also contact me on LinkedIn or on Patreon. And also don't forget to check the channel membership program to get access to the configuration documents and the member exclusive videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.